That's what he said. Swagoo, what does Swagoo say? Y'all, I'm just trying to hold on and not be the reason we lose. Okay? <laughs> That's what Mike McCarthy is saying. And the second thing is, when you, look, when you listen to Mike McCarthy, Mike McCarthy is like, please, Lord, let these offensive coordinators and these defensive coordinators and all of these guys that can see the damn clock not make these mistakes. Because if I hold the Dallas Cowboys back from winning the Super Bowl, I will never step foot on the sideline again. Gee, it was a preamble to Mike McCarthy's fear. <laughs> That's extremely – it's a point extremely well made. Let me come over here and get the group in because the Cowboys and the Super Bowl has actually become a conversation that feels sort of real. And we can sort of dive into all the reasons why. Let's start with the offensive line, your area of expertise. How good are they? As good as they were in 2016 when Dak started. That, that, that's saying something. This team, is, this, this team has been as efficient on offense because of what their offensive line has been able to do. You saw it. They started in Tampa where they protected. They weren't worried about the run. Then Kellen Moore has developed this thing. This rushing attack is the most balanced offense in the NFL right now. And then, Dominique, let's talk about the defense. I mean, that's the real surprise of this season, how yes. well they're playing, how good Randy Gregory is up front. And I know we Diggs has five interceptions in four games, but Anthony Brown on the other side is locking down, too. This team is incredible. We haven't even mentioned the rookie, Micah Parsons, who mm. might be the defensive rookie of the year. So, so and this far. team, this defense is just starting. Like, they're going to get better as the season goes along. It's a real Super Bowl contender. Yeah, again, the, to the point of balance, absolutely. They they can beat you running the ball. They can beat you throwing the ball. And then the defense just had to get from bottom of the barrel to middle of the pack, and they seem to have at least done that. Think about this, too. They're in the NFC East. Like, they may not end up being the NFC's best team, but they could still end up with the best record right, based on point. schedule, and that would give them uh, the number one seed, and there's only one buy per conference. Yeah, and the Giants have only one win. Washington has been an enormous disappointment to many, particularly to me. If you, if you watch the show, <laughs> the Eagles uh, have a long way to go. And so, yes, the Cowboys could run away and hide. And so, I go, let me finish it up with you. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, here we uh -oh. go. Tears of joy. Those are tears of joy. <laughs> what do we got, Marcus? What? Go ahead, G. Ask your question, man. Go ahead. <laughs> what, what, the question is, how about them Cowboys? Brother, let me tell you something. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to play the I told you so game because it's early in the season. Yeah. And I still have a few concerns from a defensive standpoint. If the turnovers aren't coming in droves, can they consistently stop people? But, G., they look like Super Bowl contenders, man. Yes. And I can say this for the first time in real life. This is the first time outside of 2016 when that offensive line was bludgeoning people. I can actually say this. This is fantastic to watch, man. This is when you make the right hire. This is when you come in with a plan and you see guys implement that. This is when you see the development of an offensive coordinator and Kellen Moore and a yes. quarterback that are on the same page. Like, beyond actually what's happening on the football field outside of Mike McCarthy not being able to manage the damn clock, this coaching staff has done a tremendous job outside yes, of him. I gotta get. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to give Mike McCarthy credit too because he has a lot to do with this as well. But when you look at the way this team is playing, everybody understands what they're being asked to do. And that's the first initial start. I screamed it last year. When we saw this Dallas Cowboy team, outside of offense that was injury riddled, the defense had no idea what they were doing. I went through games last year where before the play, and Foxy knows this being a guy that played on the back end, before a lot of plays, I watched over 90 times where the secondary guys was doing this right up to the snap. Yes. What we doing? What we doing? <laughs> hey, somebody tell me. And, and those are the type of things that I started to pay attention to last year. And I'm like, look, man. Yeah, they look they look bad and they look terrible and they look poor on defense. But your damn sure ain't gonna play defense if you don't know what to do. <laughs> so right. I, I just think this team has they they've kind of controlled their own narrative, and that's what I like about how they roll it right now. And can I throw one more name into this that hasn't been mentioned yet? And that is Jerry Jones, because for all of the criticism he has received as the person running the football piece of the football operation here, and much yeah. of it justified, they've gotten very good at a lot of things. They've drafted well. Right. They brought in Dan Quinn. They've developed Dak Prescott from a fourth-round pick that not too many people I, thought was going to be a yeah. star NFL quarterback to a guy right now who's probably a top-three quarterback in the league. They've done the little things so pretty well there. You can't argue with how well they've built this team. So when you have the conversation that we have about a lot of quarterbacks, like, are we going to pay this quarterback? People say, well, we can't pay the quarterback because then we won't be able to build a team around him. No. It just means that now you need to yeah. find value elsewhere. Right. When you have a quarterback yeah. on a rookie deal, you can spend money elsewhere. Once he gets out of that rookie deal, you're to find 
find value elsewhere, and Jerry Jones has done it. You can look at the last couple drafts, and they've nailed their early pick. Right. C.D. Lamb in the first round because they had a high rank on him, that, that, and, and he fell to them. Diggs. But they got Trevon Diggs in the second round, That's and right. now he's the, one of the stars of the defense. And then, of course, this year with Parsons. They trading trade down, back. Right, yep. exactly. Yes. And still getting the guy they want. They, they've been a good drafting team for a while, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. coming together. The, the Dallas Cowboys who have traditionally been all that sizzle and you wonder about the stake, suddenly the stake seems to be there, right? Jeff, final word. They, they, they seem to have the stake and the sizzle. Best, this really could be their year. Yeah, the best team in the NFC right now. I mean, look, the way they sound, we talked about the balance on offense. We talked about the defense and the takeaways. Hmm. And call them takeaways because they're not giveaways. They are takeaways. No they doubt. are finding, they are breaking on balls. They are playing like their hair is on fire on the backside of that defense. That is a big deal. And that separates teams as the season goes on. Absolutely. All right, we'll have much more on all the NFL action as we continue. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.